We do this shit each and every motherfucking trip. A lot of fuck shit going on in the industry. You know, ain't nothing changed. Yep. Uh, every week. That's life. You know, touch up on some of that shit real soon. Uh, well, it's to all my street niggas out there, in case y'all didn't know. Every 20 feet in New York City, there's a video camera set up, whether it's a business, apartment building, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of seeing my niggas running and then getting froze shot after they did a shooting or a robbery or some stupid shit. You gotta change the MO, my brother. Crime does not pay no more. There's a camera every motherfucking 20 feet. News one, every night I see a nigga running away from doing some shit and I'll be like, damn. Got it. Somebody gonna get that reward. You know what I'm saying? Fuck nigga, probably a nigga hanging with you. Yeah. You ain't feeding right. Oh, a nigga just wants you out the way. My niggas, find another way, man. It is a video camera every 20 feet. From New York City at that. Now, I need you, especially, well, I'm about 11 and a half, so I can do it. But um, just walk on your feet. Just estimate the 20 feet, and it's a camera right there waiting to get your ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if you wear a mask, don't wear the jacket you wear every day, motherfucker. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Or the only chain you got, or the only pair of sneakers. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, my brothers, we got to find another way, man. For real, real talk, man. Flip the script, man. This is America, man. If you can't find a way to make a legal dollar, you need to go to another planet any motherfucking way. Very true. Real talk. Flip the script, my niggas. 88845, Street Sweeper Radio. Okay, you got a guest in the building. Yes, sir. Representing that dirty South. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Baby Savage in the building. That's right, the guy to grind. What's going on, man? Oh, man, good to be here. It's a pleasure. Now, Independent, right? Right, right. You might be one of the very few independent niggas I know. Yeah. That has a tour bus. Right. That look better than some niggas that got record deals. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, mean, um, I got two of them. So you got two of them. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. seen one. I seen the one yeah. parked in Harlem. Yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I seen you parked up in Harlem. I seen yeah. the joint. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Appreciate that. So what made you want to invest in, in the tour bus? You like the fly? Is that now, now I'm gonna tell you, man. Um, 2011, I did over 200 shows, and it's like um, when I do a show, I gotta buy my hotel, my 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 crew hotel. So at the end of the day, it was like a three-in-one deal for myself. Um, I saved on hotels over like 30 grand a period over my tour. Then I wrapped it, so it was promotion at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a billboard on wheels, and at the end of the day, it's saving money. And then it's a write-off. Too, you know. This nigga here got yeah. this game mm. down pat. Okay. Now, I respect your hustle like I told you. I don't really know yeah. him that good, but he came at me on some business yeah. shit on some like, yo, my nigga, right. I could get more people up on the who you are and I could get you to review people's music and this and that and people will motherfucking respect you. And I'm like, you know, you hear shit from people every day. Yeah, yeah. But the mother just had people hollering at me to get their shit reviewed. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, anybody with a legal hustle, man, the hustle supersedes, you know, uh, the the, uh, uh, the celebrity sometimes. Like a lot right. of people would just be like, oh, nah, nobody knows him in New York. Right. He's not known up here. Right. I don't want him on my... Man, if a nigga that grind like you yeah. grind... And yeah. the ideas you have, and then you got a fucking tour bus, and you drove, like, shit like that. You got to give niggas lanes like that. Yeah, appreciate you got that. To. You understand? It's just right. the way the game is, man. Yeah. And where, where, you, where you out of? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Baton Rouge? Baton Rouge, Rouge, yeah, definitely. How long have you been into the music game? Man, uh, about four years mm -hmm. right now, yeah. You know, I, I came home from prison, and um, I actually got with some guys, and we made a documentary about my life in the streets, and... Uh, I made so much money off of that DVD, you know, I started rapping. It, this right here was an avenue for me to actually create some income for myself and create that route around the streets. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Get, get away from the street shit and yeah. get some legal and yeah. clean shit up. Clean it up, man. That's what I did. And I gotta respect that, man. I always was the type of individual to say that you gotta respect anybody that's trying to find a way to feed their family without hurting somebody else. Because the nigga that you're not trying to get the opportunity to will be the same nigga knocking you or your family member upside their head. 
You right. understand what I'm saying? To get right. what they need. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I definitely respect the grind and the hustle. So we got some music over there? Yeah, 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 definitely, man. My uh, single is actually um, playing on 17 radio stations right now in the South. Just mm -hmm. a little dope boy. Okay. Yeah. Jump that off, Shade 4 5. Can't 